Hi and welcome to a VR shop review of the Weibo 3D. Its current price retails for uh, between like 20 to 30 dollars which is a little bit expensive for a sort of generic cardboard uh, style headset but I think it's worth the money and we'll have a good look at that in a minute. So let's have a good look at this anyway. It's uh, It might be sort of cardboard shaped but this is uh, like a strong plastic, I don't know if you can hear that, and a uh, nice badge on top, and if you can just see it, it's really going to be really hard to capture on camera, but that is actually a wooden badge, which is really cool, M must be like laser cut or something, that's fantastic stuff, real good quality, love it. Uh, on the side, and around the back. Have a good look at that underneath, and there we go. So let's get into what this headset can do. Well, obviously, uh, it's open front, so you know, in a minute, we're going to experiment with what we can get in there, but it's pretty easy to get in there. Lovely, uh, adjustable head strap, quite good quality, actually, as well. That does feel. Yeah, that does feel really good, actually. Love that. Love the badge on the top, I said there. Uh, this is a bit weird. Um, you're supposed to, like, poke your nose in there. But the lenses are pretty good. We're going to get in there and have a measure on them in a minute. But I like that. That's pretty good. And a really good um, magnet switch on the side, which is fantastic stuff. So. So yeah, not bad stuff at all. Let's uh, see what it can do then. Let's check out the size of these lenses first, because they're pretty big. I think it's worth having a measure on there. Get the old caliper. There we go, yeah. We're a caliper sort of crew. Let's get it in there. Wow. My life, pretty big, pretty big. I think that's gonna be about it. So about thirty-five millimeter on the on the old lenses. That's pretty. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty big, and inches about one and a half inches. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's uh oh let's give the glasses a check. I've got some glasses because that does not quite so I'm wearing glasses to do oh well it weirdly and it is very rare for a cardboard too but that actually f does fit in there but it is only just Hmm, that's interesting. That would be just and just so. But what your glasses ain't much bigger than that? You should be all right. Okay, let's bring in the uh, the scales of eternal complaints. Let's get it right. Set that to zero, obviously. And so there we go. Sort it out because uh, we're cheap and we won't get a new one. <laughs> Even though I complain about it. Never mind. Right, so here we go. Oh, that is actually a little bit heavier than, <laughs> than some of them. Yeah, but 1.6. That's not too bad. That's grams. And about 5.65 on ounces. Let's get rid of that before I embarrass myself too much. So... Let's have a look at what we can get into this. I think we can uh, basically get a little apple in here. Uh, and there is lips. I don't know how to say that. I think that's... Yeah. Yeah, you can get like a little apple in there. That'll fit quite nicely. Uh, generic 6 inch, A7. I think that will be... Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful fit. Yeah, another 
Oh, that's staying there. I didn't I haven't even adjusted it because it is adjustable at the bottom. That's pretty good. Let's get it out. Let's ramp it up one more. Let's go to the mega. Let's go to the mega. So we're gonna have to stretch it a bit. And I can <laughs> that's laziness. I could just adjust that perfectly down the bottom quite friendly. And that look at that. A Samsung Mega and it fits like a dream. That's awesome stuff. Look at that. So, even a Mega, even a Mega at a handle. Let's really notch it up a bit. We have the Z Ultra here. So, let's see. I take it that we just pull this out a little bit and. Yeah, there you go. So I've just made it a little bit looser. And even the beast of all phones can go in that very little corner. Oh, that's heavy now. I suppose it could even. Look at that! <laughs> It'll even go up on the lip there. And uh, but yeah, I'd have it off the lip so you get a little bit more screen. Look at that, that's pretty good. Apart from not having adjustable lenses. That's going to be one sweet view. That is pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that actually. And I'll take, yeah, that's obviously, that's not going to go anywhere. But there you go. Rebo 3D. It's, uh, well, I can handle just about anything you can throw in it basically. Uh, it's pretty hard to get a hold of. Um, we've eventually got hold of one. Uh, for an eBay supplier, but um, to actually get it off the website, they don't ship internationally, so You know if uh, you need a bigger phone a, a bigger he a headset that holds a bigger phone or for some reason uh, to, You need it open fronted then Maybe this is the one for you But yeah, I think that's just about it if you do wish to know anything else about this headset we are happy to answer any questions you've got in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and do remember you will be able to win this headset and many many others in our weekly email newsletter. The link to subscribe is in the info box below and also remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel which will be down there somewhere. And thanks to the star of the show which is the Weibo 3D which is a, oh, it's not a bad headset at all.